Hello, I'm Tim Gray, and thank you for tuning in to another episode of Tim Gray TV. This time coming to you from somewhere on the North Pacific Ocean. And I'm a bit confused as a photographer today because as we're filming this, it is April 21st. That shouldn't be so confusing, except tomorrow will be April 21st as well because we'll be crossing the international dateline. We'll have Thursday twice. That's a little bit confusing, but it also reminds me of other confusion I've had in the past as it relates to the date and time, and especially time under normal circumstances of capture. I find that many photographers forget when they cross time zones to update the time on their camera, and of course, I myself have forgotten on more than one occasion to update the time. So when you're crossing time zones, it might not seem all that important to update the clock on your camera, but I find it can actually be very helpful to make sure that you've got the right date and the right time. If you recall particular details about the date or the time that you captured an image, that makes it easier to find. And I am convinced that one of these days we're going to have software. I don't know of any software that does this now, but I believe that there will be software that can take the GPS coordinates that this camera is able to put into metadata automatically and the time of capture so that I can say, show me pictures from sunset, for example, because it knows what time sunset was based on the location where I took the picture and it can find those images automatically. Hopefully we'll have that ability at some point, but it can just be very helpful to have the correct date and time information associated with our photos. And in this case, for this camera, I don't even have to remember that. So that's an extra added bonus for me because this camera, this happens to be the Canon 7D Mark II, this camera includes a built-in GPS receiver so that I can identify the location information. The GPS coordinates will be added to metadata automatically for all of my captures if I have that feature turned on, but also I can then use the GPS signal to automatically set the clock on this camera for me, the date and the time, which is especially helpful for me today in particular, and tomorrow as well in my case, because I'll have two Thursdays. But if you don't have that automatic capability, I do encourage you to try to remember to update the date and time on your camera whenever you cross time zones, because that information might just prove helpful at some point down the road. So check that date and time every time you're crossing the time zone, and maybe it'll make it easier for you to find certain photos at a later date. Thanks again for joining us for this episode of Tim Gray TV, and we'll see you next time.